Objection. The gentleman from California, Mr. Smallwell, is recognized for one minute. With this House at this moment considering such important issues for the American people, there is no better person I know than Bishop Jerry Macklin to deliver this afternoon's opening prayer. Bishop Macklin's words are inspiring and his call for national unity and wisdom during these trying times is appropriate. Bishop Macklin knows a thing or two about trying times. He founded Glad Tidings Church in Hayward, California in 1978. With a big heart of compassion and a deep devotion to the Lord, Bishop Macklin turned a neighborhood overrun by drugs and crime into a community of faith. Today, Glad Tidings Church has over 1,500 members. Under Bishop Macklin's leadership, the church is not just a place to worship, but a center point for care to the community, providing food, affordable housing, and health care to the most in need among us. Just two weeks ago, Bishop Macklin opened his church's doors to host an Affordable Care Act forum to help educate my constituents. As the Regional Health and Human Services Director was explaining to the attendees where they could sign up, I saw firsthand Bishop Macklin's commitment to serve the community. He leaned over to me and said, Eric, our church needs to be at the center of signing people up. And by the time the Regional Director had finished addressing the attendees, Bishop Macklin had already texted and emailed about a dozen people to make sure that happened. Thank you, Bishop Macklin, for asking God to watch over this house and for your work to watch over our community. The house will be in order. Prayer will be offered today by our guest chaplain, Bishop Jerry Macklin, Glad Tidings Church, Hayward, California. Shall we pray? God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, thou who has led us thus far along the way, for this land of freedom and the promise of America, we are thankful. In the face of daunting tasks, monumental and complex changes, grant this, the 113th Congress, your sovereign wisdom. Allow this august body, like eagles, to soar above partisan disagreements and personal agendas. Grant the members of the House of Representatives strength that they may run for those whose legs are weak and give them courage that they may walk for those who have become weary through years of injustice. Give them compassion that they may speak for those whose voices have been silenced, and God grant them vision for those whose dreams are diminished. Now, God, empower America with a unity that defies the chaos of the moment. Thou who has by thy might led us into the light, keep us forever. In the path we pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs> 